He was homeless and felt there was nowhere to turn, but Lee Edwards didn't give up. How he was able to end his drug addiction and give back to others in need in tonight's Essay Strong. I was at the end of my rope. Homeless in Nashville, fighting to beat his drug addiction. I went down there with the thoughts of get, getting clean because I was an addict since 1991. Lee Edwards says he was trying to quit and find a new way of life. I went to a, a rehab in 2006. And, uh, 22 months after that, I decided to use again. It takes him back to this moment. It, it took over my body and soul once again, you know, so. I went out back into the streets for another six years, 2008, I went back to rehab. Another 12 months later, I relapsed again. Edward says he felt he was giving up on himself. I got so used to the misery and the pain. He was working at a fabrication plant, but it wasn't enough to pay the bills. Dirty clothes was all I had. Slept on neighbors' couches, I slept in bus stations, you know, little park benches, you know, wherever I could lay my head at. It was his reality for three years until one day his daughter Tiffany we've always been close reached out and wanted to help. She had retired from the military. You said pops if you're tired of running around I got a place for you here in San Antonio. Well, I made the trip to San Antonio and uh, by the grace of God I've been clean for four years. He found a job and got his driver's license. Made me feel almost human again. Edwards is now married and lives here in Converse. And through his outreach program, New Day, New Way. I have it tattooed on my arm somewhere right here. His team donates food and clothes to the homeless in downtown San Antonio. And I can see him through a position of empathy and not sympathy because I've been there, you know. And every week it's just gotten bigger. bigger. We take down food. Now we take hot meals every, every uh, once a month. We supply tables and chairs. We supply live entertainment. It's a mission he started with his wife, Etoy. Just went down there, me, her, maybe what, two other people. And we passed out a brown bag blessings, as we called them. Just a bologna sandwich, but it, it meant a lot to the people that were down there. When you think about strength, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? My mother. As an adult, I, was, I used dope all of my adult life. And she never got to witness me clean. Thank you for shoot, instilling in me the values and the morals that she did. Edwards now hopes more people can join him on his mission and be part of the change. Help out somebody. Help somebody. That's my message. Help somebody. Whew. That's it. Help somebody. He is such an inspiration. And if you would like to learn more about New Day, New Way, or make a donation, just look for this story on our website, foxsanantonio.com. If there is someone in your life that has an empowering story to share for Essay Strong, I want to hear from you. Connect with me via email or chat with me on social media and make sure to use the hashtag Essay Strong.